Gathering wood in Minecraft is so boring, so today I'm going to build a fully automatic wood factory that gathers tons of logs for me, all in hardcore Minecraft. Dude, seriously, like, I've just pressed record. Damn, those zombies are annoying, but please subscribe. Now this tree farm is pretty awesome, and to make it even better, I'm going to cover it with a brand new epic factory building, which turns out to be one of my favourite builds yet. Now I've already mined over 30,000 logs in this world, so this farm is going to save me so much time, which means more time for building. I think this will be the perfect spot for the factory, but I'm going to have to do something with the landscape. I mean, you guys know how much I love my terraforming, right? So yeah, more terraforming and another big hole for the farm. Building this is going to be so much easier now that we have our automatic storage all organized and in place. So, let's place down our beacon. And let's add haste too. Okay, time to get to work. Okay, I think this will be big enough to fit our farm. Well, I hope so at least. Just trust me, I've got this. Fingers crossed. With the cliff all in place now, this area is looking awesome and definitely makes the landscape look more complete. But we'll add a few more details a little bit later. I think I probably have most of the resources for this farm, but there's definitely a few things I am going to need. Actually, that should be plenty of redstone. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need more slime. Let's go ahead and gather that up first. I'm pretty sure there's a big swamp over this way. Aha, here we go. Let's clear these trees to make some more room for the slime to spawn. Okay, night time is here. Aha, and we have our first slime. Give me those slime balls. Okay, from that one slime, we got 24 slime balls. Man, I need like 45 slime blocks. So, uh, yeah, this is gonna take a while. Aha, go llamas. I knew I kept those guys around for something. Well, night one was pretty intense, but we got 62 slime balls. Not as much as I would have liked, but it's a start, I guess. My gosh, there are so many of you guys. Oh, no, no, no. Uh-oh. Quick, quick. Uh, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. That was so close. Jeez. Ooh. Well, I'm still here at least. Just about. That was a little scary, though. Not going to lie. Okay, just over two stacks gives us 15 slime blocks. Not bad, I guess. But um, we're going to need a lot more. Okay, finally, 47 slime blocks. Yep, I think that will do the trick. Okay, next on the list is honey blocks. So first I'm going to need some bees nests. I think I have a couple back at base, but hopefully we can find a few more on the way home. Aha, I'll take that. So to be able to take the honey safely, I think we place down some campfires and place the bees nest on top. And if I'm right, I think the bees need some flowers to gather the nectar. And we all know that nectar makes honey. And we have one bee. Seriously, like one bee out of three nests? I'm so sure that I have more. Well, I guess I'm going to need more bees too. Can I convince this guy in here? Come on, buddy. Ah, never mind. They both went in here. So I'm pretty sure that's two more bees and another bee nest. Now all we need to do is simply breed them. There's one. Come on, I know there is definitely at least three bees in there now. Ah, there we go, finally. Let's grab the honey and be our guest. Another advancement. Awesome stuff. Okay, on four bottles makes one honey block. 
Ah, oh, seriously, I need like 41 blocks. Man, that's gonna take forever. Okay, it's probably a good idea to start organizing all the redstone items while we're waiting. Now that we can get a honeycomb, let's craft some beehives so that we can get more bees working. I'm not really sure if there's a difference between the hives and the nests, but hopefully that will speed up our honey production. And we can breed more bees now, so that should help too. Come on guys, there's no time for a break. Back to work. Okay, I think that's finally everything we need to build the farm, including plenty of honey blocks. Honestly, it would have probably been quicker to build an automatic honey farm, but I will still make one at some point. But now I'm just going to remove the nest and we will use them at some point to build an automatic honey farm. Anyway, we're finally ready to build, so let's do this. Well, that build was a little bit tricky, but finally it is all in place. The design is by Il Mango, and the tutorial is linked in the description if you want to check it out. Now, I did get a little visit from one of those little green guys. You know, the ones with no arms, ones that like to creep up behind you and blow things up. Yeah, like, he blew up the entire TNT Jupa. That's pretty much this entire section just up here, but hopefully, fingers crossed, it's all fixed now. Now, rather than having a collection area for all of the logs, I think I'm going to just fill out all of the items into our storage system using water streams. It just makes sense, seems that our storage system is so close. First, I need to add the water down here. Ah, there we go. Let's grab some packed ice. And we should be able to make a stream all the way to the storage input. Signs are probably going to work best here to separate the streams. Now I just need to cover the stream with glass. Okay, let's test it out. The items flow down and all the way around. Perfect. It's probably a good idea to repair my tools as they're getting pretty worn down now. Man, these guys are just so stupid. And down goes the captain. Now, give me all of that XP. While I'm here, let's quickly grab a bunch of bones from the mob farm. Okay, that should do. Now we've repaired our tools, let's quickly repair our bow. Let's just grab this one. This one also gives us punch one and pretty much repairs our bow, so that'll do the job. And now we can turn the bones into bone meal and place them in our tree farm. Okay, first try it. Please tell me I got this right. Let's click the barrel and fingers crossed. Okay, yes, the TNT duper is working. So uh, let's give this thing a go. Okay, I had the farm running for around 20 minutes. So let's see what we got. Ooh, about 15 stacks of birch, seven stacks of oak, 12 stacks of spruce, and five stacks of jungle logs. So if we evened it out, we're probably looking around 100 stacks of logs per hour, maybe more. And we can go AFK, so I can gather logs while I catch up on some much needed sleep. Oh, I'm so excited. This is going to save me so much time. Now we need to come up with a nice factory design to cover it up. I think I'll probably build it out of bricks, but I want to add a lot of texture to make it feel really old. So I'm definitely going to need some bricks first. So I have a fair amount of clay, but I don't think it's going to be enough. And I only have a few clay balls. Wow, that actually looks like a lot more when it's all stacked up. 
My shovel has silk touch, so I guess I'm going to have to sell with a basic iron one for now. Man, one iron shovel down already? Maybe we should enchant this one. And I'm breaking free. That's all. Actually, I think I found a shovel when I was end raiding. Aha, I'm breaking free and efficiency four. Now that's more like it. Let's smelt that all up and see how many bricks we can craft. That made more bricks than I thought, so it might be enough. I think the best way to do this is by starting with the framework so that it gives me a bit of a better idea for the shape. So let's get building. I think the shape looks pretty good for now. It's hard to tell how it will look, but um, yeah, just trust the process. It's gonna be awesome. Let's quickly add some floor into the entrance. I will do the interior after, but let's finish the building first. I think the back wall will likely get damaged from the TNT explosions. So let's protect it with a layer of obsidian. But looks like I'm going to need to go mine some first. Aha, here we go. Let's put some water over the lava. And with our enchantments, this shouldn't take too long. So I'm pretty sure that the back core is the only one that needs to be protected. Hopefully the obsidian should do the trick. Next, I just want to add a small area downstairs. Maybe like a log storage area and a way to access the farm. And now we have a small area that gives us access to the farm AFK area. Now back to the actual building itself. I think I'm just going to start by filling in all the walls of bricks for the moment. I know it doesn't look the best right now, but there is still a lot of detail to add, so just trust me. First, I'm going to need some moss blocks to create a kind of old worn down look just to go in patches. I should only need a few stacks, not too much. Okay, I think that should be plenty. On the corners of the build, I'm going to add some cobblestone walls. I think they add a really nice kind of industrial look to the build. Now, the texturing for the walls is going to be done in two parts. First, I want to cover the build with some granite and a few patches of polished granite, just to give the walls a bit of a worn down look. That will give us this kind of effect. The second part is just for some odd patches. I'm going to basically use moss, coarse cool dirt, rooted dirt and mossy cobblestone to create this kind of overgrown look to the build. I think it looks really nice. But these will only be placed in a few patches dotted over the build. So here goes nothing. But 
but the windows I'm going to use some light grey stained glass panes as they look really nice in my texture pack. I wish default Minecraft had some kind of glass panes like this, but normal glass looks good too. So it's slowly starting to take shape now, but it still needs a lot of work. Maybe add a few window ledges with some deep slate tiles. And to make this build look more industrial, I'm going to use stone brick slabs for the border of the roof. The main part of the roof is going to be with the deep slate tiles, so they should look good together. The border definitely needs a bit of texture, so let's use some mossy stone bricks and cobblestone just to give it a bit more detail. There's something about adding a lot of texture to a build that really creates so much more life and really gives that realistic look to the build. I mean, I just love it. I really do. I think I want to use some of these patches in the roof as well, but blend it with the deep slate instead. So let's grab our deep slate and finally get this roof all in place. Okay, now it is definitely starting to look like something. I mean, this is actually looking pretty cool. I might need to add a little bit more texture, but overall, I think it's looking pretty good. Now, I'm going to need a few oxidized copper blocks for some small details, but it just takes so long to oxidize. I mean, surely there's got to be a way to do this faster. Now, the building does look awesome from this view, but I actually have a cool idea. Let's grab some smooth quartz. And I think these windows need to come down by just one block. Okay, that actually already looks much better. Now we can add an L, O, G, and S. Now we have logs. So we know where to go for our, well, logs, I guess. You know, for a factory building, this actually looks pretty awesome. I'm not usually a fan of this style, but I don't know. I love this one. So the outside is still looking a little plain and definitely needs a few final details. Plus, we still have to do the interior. But overall, I think the build is looking great. My gosh, why is this copper taking so long to oxidize? Like... I'm sure it should be doing it quicker than this. I think I'm done with all the granite and bricks for now, so they can go back in this chest here, which uh, puts them straight back into our storage, all nicely organized for us. Gotta love it. Now we need some foliage, such as acacia leaves, azalea leaves, white tulips, and maybe some dandelions. Hey, hey, finally, we have our first oxidized copper block. My gosh, that took forever. Okay, time for my favorite part, decoration. Man, I just love adding some greenery. Adding in all those flowers, trees and bushes just makes this place feel so much more complete. 
I did use the copper blocks to make these sort of pipe connections on the outside. I don't know what they are, but they kind of make it look more industrial. So now we need to work on the interior. Let's start by framing out a big window that will sit just here. We'll separate the stairs with a brick wall. And I'll keep the ceiling basic with some spruce planks for now. Let's fill in that big glass window. And we can add a few more details around it. Do I have any shroom lights? Ah, yeah, perfect. Maybe place them up here for some light in and cover them with some fence for a bit of detail. I'm going to keep the scene in pretty simple. Maybe some stairs around the edge. Let's quickly craft some trapdoors and I'll place those in the middle. Let's craft a few stairs and slabs. And we can make a kind of crafting area here. Let's place a stone cutter, a log, and maybe a campfire on this side. And if we put it out, it should look like some chopped logs. Actually, let's make the table a little wider. Maybe some barrels and a few lanterns. Downstairs, we can place some logs and a few barrels just to make it look like the place is being used. And maybe a little kind of display shelf up here, showing you some of the items you can get. Let's add a door, trap door, slab, fence. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. And that's how I built an awesome wood factory with an AFK tree farm in Minecraft. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one.